Okay. Um, I'm making, I mean, I'm doing a muzzle tutorial today because one of y'all asked me, I'm, ho I'm hoping that you are watching right now, but um, one of y'all asked me on my harpy hair video with the handshake, I, to, um, sorry, <laughs> make a muzzle, sorry, I haven't done this um, in a while, I mean, you can check my, I'd never do any videos like this so but my they wanted a muzzle tutorial like aces here beautiful 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 <laughs> um i also wanted to point out a few things about um him that i changed which is his i put some eyebrows on him <laughs> as you can see right here and a little piercing and yeah i just thought it made him look cooler but this is not a tour on Ace, so I have what you'll need for this tutorial, which I started heating it up a while ago, but I have a hot glue gun here, which is dangerous. So please, if you're younger, just have a parental like supervisor around. So, um, or someone at least older than you, I guess. Um, but what you what you're gonna need for this project is a cat mask, or really like if you make cardboard masks, mask bases, just need you just need a mask that kind of looks like this, and you'll need some foam, like super thin foam, like this, really thin, but it's good for like just smoothing it out, and. You can find, I got this, almost all of the supplies, except for my, um, this is a Puma box, shoe box, from, I don't, I don't know, I found this in my garage. You just need some sort of cardboard, hot glue gun, thin foam, and basically that's it. Oh yeah, and the, yeah, and hot glue gun sticks, I just have a hundred pack here. And if you want, you can use a exacto knife here. Um, oh, you also need scissors. This is from a while ago. So I just have these in my yeah. Okay, let's start. Okay, so by this point, that was just an introduction. So you should probably you probably should have waited and got your hot glue gun up and running um but i should probably just cut this in two few pieces so i'm just gonna do that real quick okay so i basically just cut the top off of the box and here you're just gonna need like a sheet of any kind of sort of cardboard leftover scraps or not um but you're gonna need it pretty big like at least the size the size of probably bigger but at least the size of this which to put in perspective this is my hand compared to this so it's going to be a tiny bit bigger than this so this is kind of hard uh, <laughs> it's hard to do but in a smaller space like this but you're just going to need hard space if you see right down here I just have this, and it's just basically, not cardboard, it's this, like, giant palette thing that I got for my birthday a while back. Um, but, enough about me, let's go on about this. You're probably, I'm estimating right now, gonna need, I need it, I forgot, I don't even have a ruler up in this place. <laughs> um... Let's see, is this, I'm thinking that these are inches, um, sorry, that was a quick pause, mm -mm. my battery is low, I'm charging it right now, so I'm, I'm thinking these are inches, also, by the way, I found out that this part of your, like, this part is one inch, so. I'm gonna try like four inches. Oh yeah, you're probably also gonna need a pencil, which I'm gonna go get that. 
I figured out that I'm not that prepared for this video. Um, but let's do this. So I'm just gonna go on. Yeah, so this, this is about four inches. I can't see it any closer. That line. No, get out of the way. Okay, and this line um, is about four inches. Um, and I'm probably gonna cut it about, if me looking at Ace is this is like about two inches plus the his like top so i'm guessing uh five inches that i need well hmm sorry <laughs> okay i'm gonna just lengthen that, that up you should probably um do it one more inch for the like length like one more inch so I put one more inch on that so I moved it up from from right here to over here probably about two inches for the width so about right here I Sorry, my lighting's bad because I'm in my room, but about there. You know what? I here. We'll just right there. Right there. From that to there. Um, about there. Right there. From that to there. Okay. Okay. So right now you're just gonna cut it out and see what you really need. Because in you in what depending on what you have, like on your cardboard, because really it's mostly up to you. But I would do for the length about maybe four or five inches for the width, probably about two. I'm gonna whip out my exacto knife and make sure you have like a hard surface like this underneath, especially if you're doing it on like a table. Please, 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 please don't scratch your parents' table while doing this. Okay, right, I got it. And basically, I'm gonna, it's gonna look really bad in the first part, but you just need to keep trying to bend it. You can use a cup if it does fit, but I didn't use it. So you just want to kind of bend it to make it an, an arch until it's like really flexible. So that's might take a tiny bit i'm trying not to make this video super long okay, i found this bottle of mod podge so i'm just kind of pressing it and it will start looking like this you're gonna get your mask and you're just gonna kind of put on put it on there kind of like this and see this is really big so I'm guessing probably actually four to th like three to four inches. So I'm just gonna cut them off slowly and just using kind of my wrist at this point. And when, if you're doing this with like um, a shoebox like me and it's not fully like this brown color, even though you're gonna felt it. If you don't want this showing, then just face it down. And once you have it, it will kind of look like this. Like, sorry, <laughs> this is hard. But you're just gonna try to put it on there. And like, cause if you, if you want it to be like aces where it's, cause his, the bridge, I kind of messed up. But on here, it goes like straight down and like out instead of tilting like like diagonal. If you, it might take a tiny bit more cutting if you want to do it more diagonal. So that's what I'm gonna try to do because this is for my friend. 
um not the one that i like that are, that's in the video also that cicada video blow blew up like a lot thank you guys so much for that um and also this is also a thank you so much because i think let me check my uh, oh okay oh, <laughs> the sub count right now because i'm just so thankful for you all um i have a hundred 163 i we're this close this close to 200 i i'm i'm just i'm i'm probably gonna make a video after this um or like probably this is gonna take me a few days to edit so is it a video is gonna come out probably before this comes out and it's just gonna be thanking all of you because i'm just so thankful for you and all of y'all support and i i can't believe that we made it this far um <laughs> yes i just can't i can't thank you enough for all of your guys' support. It's really surreal because it's just, yeah. I'm super thankful. But once you continue on with the mask, I have it pretty short now. <laughs> so if I were to measure it, it's about three inches. And still the width is two. So, um, by the way, this is not exact. I'm, I'm measuring like this part. It's, this part of your my hand oh my gosh i just got a cramp ow <laughs> um but so i'm putting it on kind of like this i'm gonna tilt it more upward okay and yeah um, you're just gonna kind of glue the edges make sure you don't burn yourself with this stuff it hurts like if i burn myself i will have a reaction but it won't be too bad because I have been doing this for a tiny bit. Um. Yeah. Also, I want to thank El Evelyn. I mean, I'm probably going to tag her in this video too. But it's just her support with, like, duetting me on that floppy hair handshake. I'm just so amazed. She's one of my big inspirations. Um, but don't go subscribe to her if you're not subscribed to her yet because she's an absolutely amazing person. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you if you're watching this. Thank you so much for that. And during this, be really careful when you're pressing it down because this part, like, I, I just put more glue. This part will be very hot. Because, of course, it is plastic. It will, the heat will go through. Because hot, hot glue is very hot. So, it will go through. Um, and, like, it will also kind of warp your mask in the inside. And if it does, that is perfectly fine. Because, in the end, you're not, people are not going to see the inside. Unless you want to show them the inside. If you do, um good luck i'm joking um if you do it's fine because you're if like if you're anything like me i don't really normally do this but for ace i did i got one of my dad's old t-shirts and for the back i just i put some stuff there very comfortable indeed um but yeah it's gonna kind of look like this and mine is a tiny bit lopsided but you know nobody's perfect right <laughs> Not even animals, so, yeah. Um, but, this is basically what I have so far. It looks really bad out on camera, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Um, I'm actually gonna wear my face. I kind of feel like it. So I can actually show my face in this. <laughs> oh, this is so weird, I'm just gonna play me doing this. Okay. But it looks really lopsided. Ooh. <laughs> I'm hoping that she doesn't hate this. Um, <laughs> uh, it looks, uh, uh. um, but basically, after that, after you have that all glued, it should be pretty sturdy. 
not too sturdy because you know it's still math it's still cardboard <laughs> but uh you're gonna get more cardboard and you, so like i have this little thing it really doesn't matter on how much stuff you use on this you just kind of gotta look at your mask because this part oh my gosh someone just surprised subscribed ethany wethany <laughs> Thank you so much for the, so, like, I know this isn't a live, I just got a notification, but, uh, you're just gonna measure this part, and you're basically just gonna need it to fit this. So I'm just gonna cut this part out. It really depends on how you do it. Like, with how I did it, it was more again since aces came out a tiny bit weird as you can see you can still see my bottom lip right here uh normally people want their full face covering it like more than their chin his does his more goes like this than straight kind of diagonal so this you don't really need a super you don't really need a it much, but you just need to see. You, it's got it. It's me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's hard to speak right now. So you're just gonna not gonna not too much, cause you're not gonna have to bend it too much. If you want it kind of sticking out, this that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just I instead of doing it this way, I folded it kind of like hot dog style. So it's like this, but it's not gonna stick out much. So, um, and then you're just going to kind of trace it on your thing. So, I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, I did this, and I sat and thought about it for a tiny bit. You really don't need to bend this part, because you, if you, I mean, if you're just going to leave it more, like, how it's like this, then that is, you're done, and you should probably bend it hot dog style, but how i did it for ace is at in the end i didn't like his design for it i mean i loved his design i did but um i didn't like it just because it felt flat so you know yeah it felt flat so i i i made it i'll show you in a second but that this part like that part is really optional so it's because it's this part is going to be really complicated um so if you if you just want to end it here you like how it looks that's perfectly fine get off the video if you want please subscribe and like but again you can do whatever i'm just here to help okay so again be very careful with the hot glue because it's gonna be it's gonna be hot <laughs> that's why it's called hot glue but you're just gonna basically put it on the edge of this and it might drip because the first time i did it it dripped and i burnt myself it was it wasn't too bad i just still burnt myself so and it hurt so be very careful and sometimes you just gotta look at it and turn it away and kind of look at it. Um, and it will look wonky, but that's why you gotta trust the process. Because it will look, look wonky and you won't like it, And it, but that's okay. Because no, not everything's perfect and it, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. And if it's your first time doing this, then of course not gonna look the greatest because it's your first time so so you know i'll show you a technique in a few seconds but basically well this is drying but basically what i do is i grab the hug if i want it like for, i'm gonna just use this for reference if this if this is a gap between if there's a gap between it uh, to the piece that you're gluing and the piece that you already glued and it's like a gap and you don't want it there and you want it covered then like this is, I'll just use this small piece as a gap you're just gonna go back and forth kind of with it 
but again it's it's gonna be kind of hard for this but see you can cut you can kind of see it it went back and forth and it kind of glued i just peel that off oh owie <laughs> uh, but the reason why i'm handling the glue a lot is because it's not super hot for me anymore because like i can still feel it but it's not super hot like, you'd need a minute for it to cool down if you don't like it. But, it should be all glued now. Oh, it should be all glued now. So, I kind of use that technique right here. But, that's basically what you gotta do. And, that if you like it like that, that's fine. You can stop here. Um, if you do stop here, hope this video did help. Um, if you are continuing, I'm glad you are staying to see this part. Um, it will get messy, it, it will get messy, and, but that's okay, because, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, it's just, and you probably, you might mess up on this part, and if that's okay, I mean, if, it's okay if you mess up, try again, but... Uh, you're gonna get your scraps, so I have this scrap, and I'm just gonna bend it hamburger style, so it's like you. Busting out the Mod Podge again. <laughs> and you're just gonna... You're just gonna keep doing that, and you're gonna do a lot of that during this video, but you don't want it to be... Like, you, you don't... You want it to be kind of flexible, you don't want it to, like... You know, just, because you know how when you're bending it, it turns into just a, like, that. When you do that, it shouldn't do it anymore. It should bend with it like that. And so, this part is kind of hard, I will say. So, during this part, we, it's going to be hard, so, and it might not look good, but here... You can see how it goes out, comes back in. So that's this part. So if you don't like this size, of, like how that works, then you might not like this part. But if you want to keep trying to do it, but you don't like how that looks, how I'm gonna do it is I'm going to, okay, I'm gonna switch. It. Okay, changed. But I'm doing it like how. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. I can probably get like my dad to do this, but so he, I'm gluing it like this. Okay, if you don't like that, cut it to the appropriate size and do it to your liking. Liking, but it's gonna for mine. It's gonna kind of come out like that. So just letting y'all know. Okay, um, I did it. Oh, I'm just gonna start that. Um, I did it. Um, mm, so it's probably gonna look like this. On the inside, it's gonna look like that. So see, I folded it, kind of like this. <sighs> okay. And, oh. Okay. Well, now what you're gonna do is, I have another piece of scraps. And really, this whole part is with scraps. Um, you're just gonna make these triangles on the side, but you're gonna make it a tiny bit bigger than they actually are because you're gonna bend them and that's just gonna kind of ruin it. So, tracing that. That is really small. <laughs> so, I'm gonna just redo that. So, you're just gonna try to bend it so it's like cupped. Um, and then, but, see, it's kind of, uh, you're just, you're just wanting to fill those gap, this, th these gaps, these two gaps, and trust me, it's gonna absolutely look hideous, like mine looks right now, but it's okay, because, again, it will get better, and you might want to use that technique that I showed you a tiny bit ago where 
I basically took the hot glue gun and put it around the areas where it, there was gaps and you're really going to need to do that in this part um just letting you know <laughs> you just want to use as much as uh, as much scraps as you can because it, it's just because you don't want to waste all of your cardboard so that's what I was trying to do but and right now I'm just and for the little things it's easier to use cutting out like it's easier to use the exacto knife or any sort of smaller blade than you have other than scissors but yeah so let's see wait this actually might work nope never mind <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay. So you're just gonna take the your failed one and I'm just gonna trace over it, making it bigger. And also if you have like any masks idea mask ideas. Oh sorry. No, never mind. Um I was sorry if uh, so um I'm thinking on doing a Etsy shop. And I need to know if you guys want that or not. So, do you guys want that? <laughs> do you think that you like my masks enough that you want me to make an Etsy shop? That is... It's okay. Um, so right now I'm just gluing it. And again, you're probably going to always want to do the edges of the stuff that you already glued. But that's also just my preference. So if you have, if you do this and you just want to see a little tutorial on how to do a muzzle. And you prefer gluing the actual things that you haven't gl glued yet. To, and you do the edges of that, then that is totally up to you. Because that is your preference. Finally. Okay. So that glued. So, oh, okay, so I got some glue on my curtains in my room. I'm actually thinking that this might be longer, a longer video than I would think it, that I thought it would be, so sorry about that. At any of these points in time, you can fast forward because I'm really just working on it. I'm going to just cut it right here. I just wanted to point out the method that I used. You can clearly see how I did it. I did back and forth, and it just makes it a lot easier for you to actually fill in that space with hot glue once it's dried. I just wanted to show you that real quick because that was a good representation. thing and after that I just glued it up and on the bottom you can barely see that gap I'm probably gonna fill that up later <sighs> like a lot of gaps um but we're gonna do all the touch-up details later because I don't want to do them now um but basically I have this scrap here and again I'm just gonna cut it to where it's basically the thing that I can do for the other side. Okay, so that one. Okay. So again, I'm just gonna glue the right here. I'm just gonna glue it right here. Put that like this and Again, you might have a gap, but that will happen. That happened on this one a lot, but I covered it up. And the touch-ups 
and I did touch-ups with my X-Acto knife, and that basically helped it. <laughs> so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, position change, I think. I don't really know. But this is what it looks like. It looks pretty bad, but I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that Final Touches can fix this. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take another piece of my scrap. I'm going to take the, you need like a thinner piece. And you basically want it to kind of form into a triangle. So right now I'm going to cut that. So now I have this, and if you're if the red part's facing down, you want it to bend kind of like this. And so, so it'll eventually kind of have that. And you're just gonna glue that, and you're you're also gonna want to kind of hold it like to arch with the no bridge of the nose too so now i have it so it looks like this and yeah and it should be pretty sturdy not like super duper sturdy just like enough to at least hold my finger or just like just you just want it to be kind of sort of sort of like sort of smooth that's you want to be sort of smooth okay i just realized that i just like gained three subscribers right now i now have 166 of you guys i'm so freaking grateful thank you so so much <laughs> yeah um right now i'm just mostly Just kind of adding a few things just to make it look at least sort of okay. Now, basically, you need your foam, your really thin foam, foam now. And you just want to cut it to about the kind of width of the mask. You don't want it super big. You want it a tiny bit thicker, though. Ace is looking a lot better right now than this mask. So when my friend gets this, and if she does watch my videos, I'm so sorry <laughs> if this is not what you thought it would be. Um, I did try my best, but, you know, not every mask is perfect, right? And I'll try to make it better. So it's gonna look up. Try to look about like this. Oh, owie, owie, owie. Um, <laughs> sorry, I had hot glue on me. Ow. Ow, that really hurt. <laughs> See, this is why you need parental supervision. But yeah. now you're just gonna glue it, and what you're basically gonna do, you're gonna try to cover it. And I'll just do that real quick, just so you know what you're doing. So this is basically what it's going to look like. You just wanted it to cover. You can cover it more, but you basically want to blend that in with the X-Acto knife. This is why you need the X-Acto knife. If you think that you're good and you don't need to blend it in, that is perfectly fine. But now I'm going to just blend it in, basically. Yeah, Ace is looking way better than whatever this is. Yeah, be really careful with the exacto knife. This is you also need a parental supervisor with you at this part. Oh my gosh. This foam. I just remembered what like type of foam it is. It's EVA foam, I'm pretty sure. But I got it from hobby lobby so basically i i finished it um i finished the 
putting on this and I did a few touch-ups off camera so really um, while when I was off camera you can base after you're done with this you can basically do whatever you want if there's gaps that need filling in it this is like you just you just start doing the stuff that you need to do for to complete your mask and make it the way that you like it um this was just for like a base a base on how to like just you know make it look maybe, maybe like if you don't know what you're doing kind of like i i don't really know what i'm doing but i try my best um you just try and yeah um well i hope your mask turned out great um i hope you have a great day or night if you're watching that at night maybe get some sleep um <laughs> um but you know i hope you have uh, i hope you have a wonderful time making your mask um yeah well bye